and welcome to the Drive and Dish podcast. We're here for January the 11th to do our college basketball, our NBA picks, and maybe at the end, uh, a little tad, uh, a taste of the College Football National Championship game. Uh, I think our man Dynamite David, who is with us, will have uh, some picks on that one. All right, so it's been a while since we've been on. We got a lot of games to recap. So let's start out on Friday, January. I believe it was the 9th. Am I right? Or is it the 8th? It's the (laughs) 8th. All right. January the 8th, Friday. I went three and three overall winners with Toledo minus three and a half. Quinnipiac minus three and a half versus Manhattan. Niagara minus six and a half versus Ryder was a loss. Appalachian State minus two and a half versus Georgia Southern was a win. Cal Riverside minus six and a half versus Hawaii was a loss. And North Dakota State minus eight and a half versus Omaha was a loss. Three and three overall, 98, 82, and one on the year. Our man Dynamite David had a tough Friday, one and three overall, Florida International minus one and a half versus Middle Tennessee State was a winner. Davidson minus six and a half versus Dayton was a loser. Michigan State minus four and a half versus Purdue was a loser. And Rice plus eight and a half versus UTEP was a loser. All right, we'll move on to Saturday. I know, January 9th, I already said it today. Our man Dynamite David sticking with us and doing college basketball while the rest of us were snoozing out and watching playoff games. So hats off to him. He picked eight games on Saturday and went four and four overall. Texas plus two and a half versus West Virginia was a winner. UConn minus two and a half versus Butler was a winner. Rutgers minus four and a half versus Ohio State was a loser. Alabama minus five and a half versus Auburn was a loser. LSU plus two and a half versus Old Miss was a winner. Mississippi State minus three and a half versus Vandy was a loser. Wisconsin Milwaukee minus seven and a half versus IUPUI was a winner. And Tennessee Texas A and M over one twenty nine and a half was a loser. And then we'll move on to Sunday. Another 500 day for our man Dynamite David, one and one overall. Xavier, minus three and a half first. Providence was a loser. Iowa, minus nine and a half first. Minnesota was a winner. So that puts him at 48, 51, and one overall on the year. All right, I read off a lot of things, so it's time for Dynamite David uh, to take a turn at picking some games because I'm running out of breath. (laughs) <laughs> all right well today's not a huge slate of games i don't know if they just didn't want to go up against the national championship game in football tonight so uh, not a not a big slate of games but i managed to find three that i really like and uh there's a couple themes going throughout uh all three of these picks but uh they uh i think they're going to be winners the main theme is they're all road teams and they're all favorites <laughs> but i, I think they're going to be good always a great strategy road favorites in college basketball <laughs> Um, but I, I think, uh, I'm going to start with Colorado at Utah minus the two and a half, um, Colorado's eight and three and 20th in Ken Palm rankings coming off a solid win at home against Oregon. They are also the best free throw shooting team in the country, shooting 85 and a half percent. And Utah is off to a rough start in the conference one and three and their lone win is against probably the worst team in the PAC 12. I've said that many times here against Washington. So I like Colorado to cover the minus two and a half at Utah. Next up, I've got UConn at DePaul tonight, minus five and a half. Uh, I picked UConn the other day. They're riding hot for me. Their only loss of the season is an overtime loss to Creighton. I like the way UConn rebounds the ball. They're uh, number two in the country on that. And DePaul is terrible at taking care of the ball. They're almost in the 300s in turnover percentage ranking. So – I like UConn tonight, um, and they won the previous matchup between these two teams on the 30th of December by 21 points, so I think the five and a half is a little generous to us, as UConn should win by double digits. Last up, I've got Boise State minus seven and a half at Wyoming. Boise State's riding a 10-game winning streak coming into this game, led by Derek Alston Jr., who's averaging almost 18 points a game. Uh, Boise State's really good offense, really good defense. They're averaging 81 while only giving up 61. Uh, Now, Wyoming has played a little bit of – neither one of these teams have played a huge uh, strength of schedule. Wyoming scores pretty well, too. Uh, They average 82 per game, but they're giving up about 15 more per game than Boise State. 
Another thing I like here is Boise State, in eight of their ten games on this winning streak, they've won by double digits. And um, Wyoming's last outing, they only managed to score 61 points against Fresno State. So I think uh, Boise State should have enough offensively and defensively to win big tonight against Wyoming. All right. Good picks. All right. Next up, I will do mine. I got two picks on the day. We're going to start off with Bradley, minus one and a half, versus Northern Iowa. They played yesterday. Uh, Bradley did not win. Northern Iowa won by six. We think Bradley will bounce back. They're probably one of the top three teams in the Missouri Valley. Uh, Loyola, Chicago being one, and then Drake and Bradley probably battling it out for that two spot. So we think they'll bounce back versus Northern Iowa and uh, win this one today at minus one and a half. We uh, hope they split those uh, back-to-backs. I I still haven't gotten a full hold on how to uh, grade those, but uh, we're going to ride Bradley today on that one. And then we're going to go against the Dynamite, and I'm going to take Utah plus a two and a half versus Colorado. Uh, Colorado's only uh, losses so far this year have been on the road, and they haven't looked very good on the road, Uh, Tennessee, Arizona being those. We're going to ride Utah, though. They have been uh, pretty much atrocious all year long, but we'll see if they can bounce back at home today and uh, take the Utah Utes. plus the two and a half at home versus Colorado. All right, so some NBA action. We'll go back to January 8th. I went two and one overall. Washington Wizards plus five and a half versus Boston Celtics was a loser. Charlotte Hornets plus seven and a half versus the New Orleans Pelicans was a winner. Golden State Warriors plus six and a half versus the Clippers was a winner. 14 and 21 overall on the year. I got one game today. We're going to ride our Milwaukee minus nine and a half versus the Orlando Magic. If they're under 14 versus bad teams, uh, uh, we take the Bucks. So uh, Milwaukee minus nine and a half uh, versus the Orlando Magic is my NBA pick for the day. Okay, we teased it a little bit. Now we'll go to our man Dynamite David for some college football national championship action. What do you like today in the national championship game? You know, this it sounds like the blatantly obvious pick, but I think you've got to ride Alabama tonight. I think they're going to win big. I think they have nothing left to save it for after this game, so they're going to put it all on the field, win big tonight. I like Alabama minus eight and a half. And I also like the under uh, 74 and a half. I could see Alabama winning this, uh, scoring about in the 40s and holding Ohio State to 20 or less and keeping that under the 74 and a half. So those are the two picks I like tonight. All right. Be sure to follow greenlightnetwork.org for all our podcasts. We'll be back tomorrow to recap the national championship game with our man Dynamite David on the Football Time podcast. Uh, We'll also maybe get into uh, next season a little bit of a way too early preview. We'll see uh, how the game breaks down uh, today, and we'll get into that. Be sure to follow our Drive-In Dish podcast. We'll have new picks every day. Where can we find you, Dynamite? You can follow me at GLN Dynamite underscore D on Twitter. Uh, On days we don't have the show, I tweet my picks out. All right, I'm GLN Champ 5 on Twitter and Instagram. That's our show, and we're out. <laughs>